guys, Pete Holy here with Horizon Hobby Product Development. Uh, so if you saw the Tech Talk on the Inductrix Switch Air, you know that uh, we actually have a firmware update available for the Inductrix Switch. So if you guys have one at home and you wanted to turn your Inductrix Switch into an Inductrix Switch Air, we can do that. So we'll jump down into the computer here. I'll show you the software that you'll need uh, and the firmware. And that's all available on horizonhobby.com. And you'll also need our uh, multi-rotor programmer. That's the BLH7840. That's, an, uh, that's an older discontinued item, but we brought it back so we can add more firmwares to some of our Blade products. So we'll jump down into the computer real quick. Uh, we'll give you a brief tutorial, walk you through on it, and, uh, and you'll be ready to put your regular inductric switch into the switch air wing and have just that much more fun with your aircraft. So here we are, and I'm just gonna plug this into the USB port. Um, there are a couple of different drivers. So this is a uh, virtual COM port driver. A lot of the times your computer will install that driver automatically, but if it's not, we actually found out on Windows 7, if you plug it in and it installs the incorrect driver and in the firmware updater, you don't see your COM port, then all you need to do is go into your device manager, uh, update the driver, and it'll put the automatic, or automatically put the updated drivers onto your computer for you. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my inductric switch and I'm going to plug my multi-rotor programmer right into the top port here. Uh, it's sticking out right on top, Nice and proud, really easy for you to find there. So we just take the multi-rotor programmer, plug it in right there, and we're done as far as this goes for right now. So we'll jump into the computer here. Uh, the uh, bundle that you'll download from horizonhobby.com will have your safe firmware updater, and it also have the Inductrix Switch Air firmware. So we open up the firmware updater, and the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna browse for the file that we're gonna use. And uh, that's right here within the package. We open that package up. And the next thing that we do is we wanna to browse to the proper COM port. If your uh, drivers are installed properly, uh, it'll show up as a COM port, it'll automatically detect it, and we'll select it right there. So we have our uh, actual firmware installed. We have the part port in there correctly. And the last thing that we wanna do, and this is actually the most important part, it's uh, so we wanna, um, within two seconds, of installing the battery lead, we wanna make sure to hit update on the firmware updater. So what I'm gonna do is I will quickly plug in the inductric switch and I will hit update. So I did that within two seconds and you'll see the LED turns blue and then now we have a status bar on the firmware updater and that is, uh, it takes you know no more than 20, 30 seconds, uh, installs the new firmware and then your LEDs will actually start uh, rapidly flashing like it's in bind mode to let you know that the firmware update has been complete. Now you don't lose any functionality with this firmware update. The only thing you do is gain the ability to put your inductric switch into an inductric switch air airframe. Uh, so it's just an added value for you. Um, uh, one extra thing that you can do with your inductric switch. Uh, so you can see now that the firmware update is complete and we are flashing because the aircraft actually rebooted and since my transmitter's off, it's in bind mode. So that's how we know we had a successful flash. So all we need to do, unplug the aircraft, unplug the multi-rotor programmer, put your canopy back on, and you're ready for that much more fun. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you have any additional questions about this process, feel free to go to horizonhobby.com. Uh, give us a shout. Any questions you might have, we'll be happy to answer for them. Uh, so have a good one. We'll see you next time.